So the last uh, component I wanted to highlight in my five necessary components for referees is professionalism. And when I think of professionalism, you know, I, I am including, I think, a component of customer service that is actually inherent, uh, an inherent requirement for referees. Because ultimately, all the participants that I've described, the competitors, the coaches, and, and the fans and spectators, the parents, um, are all the customers. Um, they paid to be there, um, and they should be, you know, there should be some focus on their satisfaction. Now, when I say that, I don't want to give the impression that customer service includes necessarily that all those participants have things done the way they want them to. I mean, the point is that uh, a referee enforces things by a written book uh, as closely as possible, but there are always circumstances, I think, that are outside the norm. There are uh, unique scenarios that maybe warrant additional attention uh, where accommodations can be made in a, in a gesture of fairness uh, that again rewards the ultimate customers involved. Uh, it shouldn't be something that's, that's abused or manipulated um, you know, and has, has referees doing things uh, that are ultimately favors because they feel that it's for the good of the tournament or, you know, it garners them some favor with, with particular coaches or teams. Uh, that's not the spirit of what I'm talking about. I think in a larger sense, professionalism speaks to uh, a referee's work ethic in general. Uh, are you good at your job? And to be good at your job, you have to you have to look at it overall and make sure that uh, everything from uh, your appearance to the, the the way you treat people, uh, the way you en enforce the written rules, uh, all convey a certain aura uh, to those participants, and you should try to maintain that at a high level, not just uh, in a given match, but throughout a full tournament or consistently improve upon it uh, from tournament to tournament to tournament. So, uh, you know, things that, that disturb me uh, that, that speak to professionalism for referees is those that are, you know, dismissive or rude or uh, are distracted, obviously distracted uh, and not, not effectively doing their job. It's more so, I think, than a demonstration of you know inexperience, where you know you just don't know any better and you're doing the best you can. I don't think that makes you unprofessional because you're not great at it yet. Um, and I'll speak more about, I think, the things that are necessary qualities to be a referee. But I think you got to have a willingness to go above and beyond um, to again uh, create a great presentation as well as have empathy for all those various uh, participants and the things that bring value to them for being at a given tournament or, or even spectating it from, you know, from a future vantage point, whether it be a video on YouTube or what have you. I think it speaks a lot uh, to how you are as a person, uh, how you are as a referee, and, and ultimately you serve as a representative of any given tournament and too often I think that referees just uh, don't care enough about that aspect of their role or understand the significance of their role and it uh, creates uh, a negative vibe that, that can really, you know, uh, that, that I think people pick up on and ultimately can be a negative reflection on an entire tournament as a whole uh, even because of minor incidents. Um, you know, too often I see I see pictures of referees sitting at their table on their cell phones, um, or or you know, other uh, you know gestures where they're they're not uh, 
they're not particularly polite or they're dismissive to to again those participants and I don't I don't think it uh, it speaks well for the referee community as a whole and I think if referees focus on their individual professionalism and they're part of teams that are highly professional not only do I think it elevates all of the sport of grappling but it certainly is better business for the individual tournament they represent and I think for referee teams as a whole if you guys want to elevate your pay and be considered a highly valued position uh, you really gotta up your game uh, to offer more you know to those people that are involved with the tournament and not uh, just think of it as hey it's it's not my job or what have you and you know that makes that means making yourself available as a resource being somebody that uh, competitors and coaches can go to to ask questions um, you know when you come across as knowledgeable and polite um, you know e there's no s too s there's no detail that's too small is what I, I'm trying to say that I think uh, referees should ignore in trying to be professional and again if it elevates the sport and uh, you, your individual stock as a referee, then it's got to be considered fair game, and it's something that you should uh, definitely be mindful of and bring every time you're out there on the mat.